Hey everybody, this is Dr. Andrew Kim. I'm a board certified psychiatrist and a clinical researcher in the field of depression. And today we're going to review one of the most common questions that patients ask me all the time. How long does it take for antidepressants to work for depression? Stick with me for five minutes and you're going to have a better understanding of when to expect results and you're going to be a better advocate for yourself and your loved ones. So stay tuned for this five minute fact. To keep things simple, today we're going to focus mainly on FDA approved antidepressants specifically for major depressive disorder or MDD for short. Now these antidepressants are commonly known as SSRIs like Prozac, Zoloft, Lexapro or SNRIs like Cymbalta and Effexor. Now let's talk about some factors that can actually impact when we can expect results. First of all, is the diagnosis actually MDD? Now, many people don't realize there are actually many different types of depressive disorders, such as persistent depressive disorder, depression secondary to alcoholism or chronic opioid use. Now, I'm not saying that it's inappropriate to use antidepressants in these situations, but the most robust evidence and the FDA approval for these antidepressants are for the use in MDD. And the timelines we'll be talking about today may not apply to those other situations, and that's just important to be aware of. Now, if you aren't aware of the common signs and symptoms of MDD, please check out my thorough review linked above. Now, a second important factor to consider is, is the dose I am taking considered to be a therapeutic dose? That's right, not every dose is an effective or therapeutic dose to treat MDD. Now look, I know that some people may just need a small baby dose and others may need more than the FDA approved maximum, but in general, most adults between the ages of 18 through 65 should aim to have their dose fall within the therapeutic range in order to maximize their chances of positive results. Now I can't emphasize this enough because if you aren't on a therapeutic dose, you run the risk of exposing yourself to side effects like sexual dysfunction, diarrhea, nausea, while minimizing the chances of getting good results. So the dosing itself is crucial before you even begin to ask yourself, when can I expect results? So if all of those things are in place, and if this medication is going to work for you, it is very realistic to expect a positive response or full remission by week six to week eight. Again, six to eight weeks, and this is based off decades of clinical research. Now I'm not saying that you're not gonna feel anything prior to that. Many patients report noticing improvement even by week three or week four, but again, realistically, a robust response or full remission by week six to eight. So don't leave me hanging, Dr. Kim. What are my chances of getting better at week six to eight? Time for bonus facts. Roughly 50 to 60% of patients will be considered positive responders after an adequate trial of an antidepressant. Responders are considered people who experience a 50% reduction in the severity of their symptoms. This translates to, hey, I'm feeling much better, I'm functioning much better, but my depressive episode still hasn't fully resolved. One in three people will achieve full remission. Yay! Remission is defined as having your depressive episode fully resolve, and basically, you're feeling like you're back at your usual baseline. Now, I made this video because there's a lot of misinformation out there on the internet and on YouTube. So do you wanna trust a few guys out there who are basically self-proclaimed experts who've read a few articles and are sharing personal stories that they're generalizing to the entire population, or do you wanna trust someone who's gone to a respected medical school, is board certified in psychiatry, has treated thousands of patients, works in clinical research on depression, and has dedicated their life to this field for the last 15 years? Ah, but what the do I know? These guys went to the University of Google. So if you've liked this video and this five minute fact, please subscribe, please share and support me. Until next time, be well and be kind to yourself. Dr. Kim, signing off.